What's your creative streak? Is it performing on stage, perhaps painting, music, art or dance? It may be just for fun or to pass the time, but creativity is valuable. It enriches the human condition and for some, life without it is unimaginable. I try to be creative. I mean, I think sometime when you, I try, to, I try to play the guitar for many years, and I think once you get into the rhythm of it, maybe it kind of frees your mind and it takes your mind from other, you know, stressful situations. If you are creative, then creating something very good will give you very good satisfaction. I like singing. I'm in a choir. Um, I sew. I used to be creative. There was a lot of time in that my childhood to like write stories and draw. By definition, creativity is the use of skill and imagination to produce something new. But what does creativity have to do with everyday health and well-being? I'm glad you asked. Let's find out. This is the Couch Choir, 6,000 strangers from 45 countries. Each of them collaborated to submit online videos singing thanks to frontline health workers during COVID-19. Kairant, everyone's done it. For clinical psychologist Dr Genevieve Dingle, this viral movement is an exciting one. She's an internationally recognised expert on the power of creativity for overall health and well-being. I love the fact that it is engaging so many different types of people. I mean, you can see in here there's just people on their own at home with their kids, with their pets, and then you've got some actual celebrities and, you know, ex-prime ministers, so everyone's in there. During the COVID period, we've seen a whole new wave of creativity sparked among the community, haven't we? Yeah, absolutely. So people have probably seen those video clips of, you know, Italians singing to their neighbours across balconies and um, people getting into all sorts of new crafts and baking, you know, baking sourdough bread. So there's a whole range of different things that people are trying that they may not have tried since, you know, earlier in life, maybe even back to school days. Um, so it is interesting how it sparked that creativity and um, people are sort of taking risks that they might, may not normally take just because, you know, in the day-to-day -day world when we're commuting and we're going to work and school and we get really busy, um, you don't, you know, you don't really think about taking the time for, for doing those really important things. Someone who understands the value of those important things is Brisbane boy John Willsteed. He's one of Australia's most awarded creatives, playing bass and guitar in the iconic 80s band The Go-Betweens. You may remember their hit single, Streets of Your Town. You guys, as The Go-Betweens, uh, you were the original DIY creatives. The band happened at a time when DIY was a really important thing for young people. I, I look at that time as being extremely productive, and even though we do know about some things, that the, the go-betweens or the saints, or we, we're aware of some successes. There, it was also very productive for a whole bunch of people who were, who didn't go on to become famous, but they still made fantastic stuff, and it was it's all part of the fabric of the cultural fabric of the city. What do you love about playing music? Playing music is really essential to my life, and um, uh, when I feel out of sorts, I grab a guitar. That's a really common thing for me to do, and there's guitars all over the house and stuff. So. Yeah, it's a it's a wonderful uh, it's a wonderful feeling. Twenty six year old Alexa Shepherd is a creative of the new gen. Don't let that fool you though; she's wise beyond her years. I have a bachelor of arts in music and anthropology. I also have a bachelor of health sciences in public health, and through that, I kind of started doing all sorts of volunteering work. So I used to volunteer at the Wesley Hospital. I volunteer at Dance for Parkinson's, which is a fabulous organisation that organises dance classes for people with Parkinson's disease. Alexa is the perfect example of creativity being good for the soul. You are so positive. What is the secret to your happiness? It's got to be music, is it? Oh, I love playing music just all the time. Music makes me happy. Music is just the most amazing thing. I think I love, like, I play music pretty much every day at the moment, and I love playing with other people. Oh, so you make me, I don't play music, so I would love to. Do you want to have a go? 
Can you teach me? Yeah. Are you that good a teacher? We'll see. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> there we go. Mm -hmm. And then it's a G major chord. Oh, there you go. So it seems creativity is good for you at any age. And that's something mother-daughter duo Meek and Charlie Dudane know all about. They run ceramics classes out of their dream space studio in Newstead. I can understand why you call this your dream space. It's so beautiful in here. But how does it support creativity? And having a beautiful space, it'll inspire people and inspire creativity and they can kind of make the space their own too. So who comes in here? There's a lot of um, very, very stressful professional people that come here to really find their quiet time mm. in, in, um, in the moment. What's the benefits of working with your hands? Um, obviously we're living in a very fast-paced technological world and people just kind of want to put that aside for a moment and just put their hands in mud. It kind of goes back to that like, you know, child's play kind of thing. I think that's really um, a really nice tactile experience. I think a lot of people actually crave that. There's something about clay, if you're not in the moment, if you're sitting on the wheel, you have to really be in the moment in order to do the craft. And it's very centering. It's, um, there was a lovely saying that I heard somewhere where they said that um, ceramics is the new yoga and you really have to be in the moment and centered in order to do that. And I think that's why it's really beneficial. There's definitely um, health benefits in terms of um, meditation in a craft. You have to focus on your object and focus on your piece and you, your thoughts can move around and kind of bounce around in your head but you still have to continue to be centred and focus on this one piece and that can go over a three hour class and I think that is immensely um, good for your brain. And in the end you get something really cool. Yes, and that also too is really important, it's that, that gratification where people go, oh I made this and then they like it and it's, um, it's confidence building and it's um, something that they can take home and treasure or gift to someone and I think a lot of people um, have been gaining a lot of confidence and just happiness from that, bringing home their pots. <laughs> Across town, painter Susie Shaw is putting the finishing touches to her latest work of art. Have you always been creative? Yes, but I think we're all creative, every one of us. What is it about painting that you love? With painting, uh, especially if you're playing good music and you're painting to good music, you change over definitely to the right side of the brain. And this is terribly important uh -huh. for creativity and you actually, something takes over and you no longer have any power over what you're doing. There is something and any artist will say, I don't know where that came from. Once you get going and you get into that um, zone, then the whole day is gone and you don't even realise it's gone. And then you look at something and you think, well, I didn't intend to do that. <laughs> that must be incredible. What an amazing feeling. It is. It is. And how can it help health-wise for people? It is a way of yep. slowing down. Yeah. You focus on one thing, you're not, you're not all over the place, you're absolutely focused and that is very good because art therapy is widely recognised, especially in nursing homes and in hospitals. It's not only an outlet to express yourself but it's also good for motor skills and for coordination and a lot of people benefit from it. And creativity isn't restricted to arts. It can be about getting your hands dirty in the garden. Well, it's my quiet place, I believe. Seating up, for example, is something that I do to switch off because it's quite fiddly. The other thoughts sort of just disappear. You zone in on what you're doing and it's just quiet. I like to garden with no shoes on because then I feel connected to the earth. That's how it sits for me. It's very spiritual, being connected to country and I suppose giving back to Mother Earth. My back garden's pretty cool. At the moment, I've got lots of edibles. I try to only grow things that I can eat or use. Plants are beautiful, but I like things to be practical and sustainable. Cherry tomatoes are good sources of vitamins. There's a few down here, yellow one down here. Gardening has multiple benefits to your physical health, mental health. It's dark when I get home, but I still water my garden. I get around with a torch and weed my garden. But I think people just need to take time for their mental health because I think it's a huge mental health benefit, gardening. Lachlan's passion for gardening has now blossomed to one for sustainable living. I've got one chook, <laughs> um, but I do want to add more. 
Now we know how important it is to make time and space for creativity. It has so many benefits from lowering anxiety and stress to increasing mental well-being. So go on, get creative and enjoy the many benefits it brings to your health and well-being.